All right, we'll be following that, of course. Now we got to talk about the weather. A lot of us are already looking to the weekend, well, especially with all the Easter festivities. Yeah, a little coffee this morning out there, and it was nice. 25 degrees. I yeah, tell you what, yeah, getting morning, the kids ready for yeah. school. Yeah. You actually had to go back and grab the coats this morning. It was cold. This time of year, this is how you do it. You know, you start out like that, and then the yeah. afternoon, it's beautiful. Oh. You know, shorts are coming off, and oh, maybe not shorts. <laughs> Jackets are coming off. Jackets are coming That's off. That's okay. yeah. probably more appropriate. <laughs> you know, in the afternoon, you know. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You've had a long week. It's okay. No, no, I really have I? I don't know. I don't know. You put in um, a lot of hours always. Oh, no, gosh, no. It's been good. Hey, here's the deal. So the tornado count so far this year, uh, we've had four tornadoes in Oklahoma. We About our average for March is nearly four. We had three. And this month, we've had one. That was yesterday morning up in uh, Stillwell, up in northeastern Oklahoma. But uh, still, we have lots of April ahead of us, and we have the entire month of May. As we all know, May is our big month here in Oklahoma at, uh, well, at least on average, 24 tornadoes. So, so far for 2022, uh, there you go, four tornadoes. We didn't have any in January or February. Had lots of snow in February, but we're doing okay. Here in Oklahoma City right now, we're, man, mostly sunny. 68 degrees. It is good. No complaining. A south wind at 13, a little breezy. This evening looks good. We'll have a south breeze, but the wind will gradually pick up tonight. That'll start to bring in that moisture tonight and into tomorrow. Dew point right now, it is low, 24 degrees. So here we go. We have upper 60s and low 70s. Temperatures are great. South wind still, again, not strong, but still breezy enough. I-35 westward, it's breezy, already windy in the panhandle. We've had some controlled burns today here and there that uh, they go out and, and again set off areas on purpose. Tomorrow though, uh, no, we don't want any burning at all tomorrow because we're gonna get our next storm system approaching Oklahoma. The wind will crank up tomorrow. We're gonna have a dry line in the state. We're gonna have a cool front moving in late in the day for some of us. And the bottom line is uh, the fire threat tomorrow will be high to extreme out ahead of this energy, which is here that will give us, it'll come out in a couple of pieces but some showers and storms tomorrow evening, tomorrow night for some of us, not for all of us, and then also into your Saturday night and into Sunday for a while. So the weekend not looking great. I've seen better. I've seen worse, okay? Hang on. Lows tonight, upper 40s to low 50s. Breezy night, not as cold, increasing wind. We are dry. Highs tomorrow back to the 80s. Look at the 90s out west behind the dry line. Cold front late in the day will scoot into far northern Oklahoma. It'll slide out of Kansas. It'll be hot or warm and fairly muggy east of I-35, relatively speaking. And behind the cold front, behind the dry line, excuse me, 90s. So this morning, Altus, Hobart, Mangum, Clinton, you were in the 20s and 30s, and tomorrow you're going to be, well, back up in the 90s. So tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, the fire danger is high in the red. It's extreme in the west, the southwest. So potentially a fairly substantial fire day tomorrow. Now, the winds tomorrow will gust of 40. We're not talking gust of 50 and 60. So gust of 40, firefighters usually do a really good job of getting on those fires, and hopefully we'll get on the fires and get them out if they do take off tomorrow. All right, so tomorrow morning in the afternoon, give me a shower, a couple showers in the east, and then tomorrow evening, northeastern Oklahoma, 7, 8, 9 o'clock, showers and storms begin to develop here. A few of these... Tomorrow evening into tomorrow night could be strong, could be severe. The main threat's going to be some large hail up to golf ball size and winds up to 65 miles per hour. But right now, it looks like it's going to be mainly northeastern and eastern Oklahoma. And then for tomorrow night into Saturday, this is not completely locked in, but it still looks pretty good for clouds, drizzle, some showers around on Saturday. Highs in the 50s on Saturday with the north wind. Not the best of days, right? And then as we get into Sunday, better, starts out wet, 60s, 70s in the west, still have a north breeze. Sunday morning looks wet as that second storm up at an I-35, showers, even a few thunderstorms around. And by Sunday afternoon, that's primarily moving off into eastern Oklahoma. This evening in Oklahoma City, 60s going into the 50s, a south breeze all evening long. 90 forecast. Okay, so the weekend's not that far away, looks okay. Sunday morning looks wet. Sunday afternoon looks good in Oklahoma City. Monday looks good. Could see a few more showers and storms next Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll still need to watch late next Friday and Saturday for a chance for some organized severe weather coming up in about nine to ten days. We'll be tracking that. Guys, back to you. Coming.